Hello everyone and welcome to the very first tutorial on how to download mods and maps. Uh, if you're on PC especially, I'll be showing that. If you're on console, it's the same principle, but only on the in-game mod hub. Um, I'll be showing you the in-game mod hub after I've showed you the third party sites. The first site we'll be going to today is the official website, which you can get your in-game mods from anyway but it's the same principle i will show you a third party one but i will not be responsible for what you download on that be very very careful when you enter these sites um someone can be very very tricky when downloading mods so anyway you've just bought farms in 22 um and you've been enjoying playing the game and you're looking at some mods and you think well i want some mods i want something that's going to make my gameplay completely different or more interactive or what are we looking for maybe looking for more tractors i don't know so first thing you want to do is go to the official farm sim website or do it in games entirely up to you if you're on console so i'm going to click on mods now you do have all the latest ones in here you have the top downloaded you have prefabs if you're making maps and you have different categories as well obviously the different categories you've got maps you've got all sorts of gameplay you've got name all i'm just going to show you how to download a map quickly and a mod as well in here so as you can see at this time of recording there is many many different maps in here uh, they're all just as good as each other it depends what you like i'm just going to choose one to download and which one am i going to download he says let's have a quick look um hmm. what about riverside we'll download riverside why not so i've clicked on the riverside it tells you a bit about it uh, please read all this guys because it can help you may have to download um, extra mods it all depends on the the map itself so click download as you can see down there now it's downloading riverside's downloading right now it shouldn't take that long to do when it does download i'll be back very very shortly okay that one's nearly downloading so what i'm going to do i'll show you a third party um site before we go into the in-game mod up and show you how to download from there so i'm going to choose a site um there like i said be very very careful wherever you go to choose your mods because uh some of them can be very very dodgy i'm going to put one up now um this one is fs22modhub.com um i'm just going to choose something from here obviously you've got categories here as well guys you can choose whatever you want so say i want a tractor okay um you've got so many different mods in here like i said please read them as you're going down, um on through i would just choose one for argument's sake John Deere 6R large frame okay now read all this make sure you understand it sometimes there's extra things required mods for getting full enjoyment so you need to download these as well I won't do that one um, enjoy the full um, moment so you need to press download okay make sure you download this on the mods now be careful with this now because you're gonna get a lot of adverts come up on this and it can be very do um, very dodgy um, click the button free download below so I'm going to click that download one there and it's guided me to another it's clicked me over to another page and then I'm going to download file there I said some of them could be very difficult to download um, you can get very easily caught out so I'm just making you aware of these things um, because I've nearly been caught out a few times myself when I first started downloading mods so um, I'm not going to be responsible for what you download from other sites I would recommend using the official website because you know you guarantee a lot of those mods won't con conflict with each other so we'll wait till that downloads then i'll show you the next step right okay both of those have downloaded now so i'm going to click out of this close the uh close it down and now you're thinking well where does it all go obviously it all goes down to your downloads folder if you ever downloaded anything before you know it goes into your downloads folder so there's my two downloads today i've done it's a shift button sorry press control button sorry press control button and i can highlight either one i want so but once they're both highlighted i'm going to right click on my mouse button and then go to uh, you can either copy or cut i always cut okay it's entirely up to you, you can copy or cut so now you need to find out where your game's to so if you go into documents then go into my games then into farming simulator 22 um please make sure if you've not played the game before make sure you start up the game first and then the mod folder will show up if you find out obviously you've gone into it without playing the game yet 
there'll be no mod folder there. So please make sure you play the game first or start the game up and then come out of it and the mod folder will be there. So you click on mods. Obviously the folder is empty. I've left it empty for a reason so you guys can see where they're both going. So I'm going to right click again and then I'm going to paste both of them into the folder. So they're both there. Okay. So all we need to do now is look Farm Sim 22. Which we're doing very quickly now. And there you go. That's loading in now. So, downloadable content. So if you're in um, on console, or if, even if you're on PC, you can download extra uh, mods here. And I said there's so many to choose from. There is lots and lots now. Gameplay packages, gameplay to packages, to decorations, animal pens. You have, well, the, the list is there. You can see it all there. So I'm going to download something else just to show you that it works both ways. I'm going to download a large tractor. Let's try the J JCP, uh, JCB, sorry, install. So while that's doing now, so if we click down to here, you can see the stuff that's already been installed. Obviously, that's all my DLCs. That's been added into it. The John Deere, which we've installed as well off the site. Now, the download should be there. It must have disappeared now. Yeah, obviously, it would show there if it's still downloading. Um, downloadable content. So that's downloadable content you get from here. Obviously, you would have to pay for some of this. Um, extra content. This is um, all unlocked if you choose to purchase it in a certain way. Um, this is the best. That's the most downloaded. And that's your latest ones that's come in, which we've just seen there. JTB Fast Track it's at 100%. It won't actually go into the game until we come out of the game. All right, so. And that's recommended. So anyway, we've done all that. So what we need to do is come back out of there. Right. We should be able to go into career. Right. I'll load up um the new map we've done. So we've gone to empty slot on there. Now you can choose new farmer, farm manager, or start from scratch. You read um all three of those, it explains to you um what they all do. So we're gonna do it easy because we're new, we're new we're new to all this, or you guys may be. And we're gonna choose a map. Now Obviously, that's the base game ones there. You got oh, Bayron, Erling Grat, uh, Silver Run Forest, and Riverside Twenty Two, which is the one we downloaded. So we're gonna click on Riverside Twenty Two. So press continue, and obviously that's all my DLCs that I already had anyway. That's the one I downloaded from the in-game mod up, and that's the two from the, um, that one there. And obviously Riverside from the third party. Please make sure that you click the ones that you want. To be played playing in a game so i want all this all of this in so you can deselect all and select all like i just showed you there or you can just select individual ones that you don't want on or want on so i'm going to start it now and basically that's how you download mods i'm going to make sure they show up in game and all, everything's all good and i'll show you where you can find them in game as well okay the game is loaded in didn't say that long. So obviously when you first come in, you can choose your character, however you want to do things. So we're going to just leave that as that for now. And we are... We're here. So... That's where we spawn off to. This is obviously our farm. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, if I press P on my keyboard, that takes me to the shop initially straight away. Now, I think we downloaded a large tractor, if I'm correct. And uh, we go right down to the end here. It should show me the one I downloaded there, the JTP Fast Track icon mod. It shows you it's a mod. Okay. And the only thing you won't be able to see in here well, as a mod, obviously, or on the map, it's obviously the map itself. So that's that one there. So as long as you've selected them, you should have no problem. Um, sometimes you may get a map that you download and you may have to unzip it. Uh, they do initially come from a zip file. Um, the reason being you may have to unzip it or extract them is because there may be extra mods inside tractors or whatever they the map creators chose to add in for you. So sometimes you may have to unzip it. This will tell you, please read and watch your um, downloading just in case you come crop into any problems. Now there should be no reason why the mods shouldn't show up um, as long as you've select them, you've put them into your mod folder. So there you go, there is a beginner's guide to downloading mods. Go out there and enjoy your game guys. I'll see you very very shortly with a new tutorial. Bye for now.